All right, hello YouTube. I am back with another video, and I am going to talk about my experience, my personal experiences with the oil additives I've used in the past year, maybe year and a half. So, on the thumbnail, I have the Marvel Mystery Oil Engine Restorer and a Hyperlube Oil Supplement. I do have two of them, not not the not the Hyperlube, but I have that the Marvel Mystery Oil. Just get closer for you guys to read. This I'm just showing you the labels. If you if you want to pause the video and read for yourselves, go ahead. God damn, it's shaking so much. All right, well, there you go. So that was for Marvel Mystery Oil Restore. That's the four cylinder formula. Honestly, I think it's the same. It's just the size of the bottle. see so yep that's pretty much it just wanted to show you guys that so let's get uh, I actually wrote this myself like I was just gathering my thoughts and just thinking was the best possible way to make this video so we should start with the composition of motor oil so motor oils are composed of the base stocks which can be conventional synthetic or the more the more advanced the esters slash PAOs I don't know much about the esters or PAOs, but they are the most superior lubricants. And then um, the rest are a variety of additives. The additives that are added are anti-wear agents, the common ZDDP, the titanium oxide, which is more better. I mean, they are both good anti-wear additives. It's just that ZDDP, it, it, um, it affects the catalytic converters in a negative way. So anti-foaming agents, detergents, which keeps your engine clean, dispersants. It keeps um, like deposits, like sludge deposits and all that in suspension. And then uh, it reaches your oil filters and gets filtered out. Antioxidants, uh, viscosity modifiers, maintains ideal vis uh, viscosity during both low temperature and high temperature. So that's when you get your grades like 0W20, 5W30, etc. So it says right here, I got I got a quote from the Amsoil website. So roughly uh, right here it says the amount of base oil and additives vary by company and oil type. Uh, so it depends on conventional high mileage or full synthetic. This is the quote from the Amsoil website. It says right there, base oil makes up 70 to 80% of the final product additives compromise comprise the other 20 to 30 percent as the Android website that's the link uh, I'll have all the links posted below for you guys don't have to type it so don't worry about that so choosing the correct viscosity when designing an engine so when auto manufacturers design engine I mean this is this is all I could think of like I'm no expert or like some like doctor or chemist or engineer none of that but I'm pretty knowledgeable in that stuff, so the things I could think about is optimal protection of internal components such as like camshafts, pistons, bearings and all that, and optimal fuel, uh, fuel economy. And if you notice on the back, on certified uh, motor oils by the API, it says resource conserving. So like I have right here a Valvoline. And full synthetic high mileage that's the oil I always use in my car then if you get close this is right there API service SN SA 5w30 5w30 resource conserving by resource conserving it means by gasoline and um, oil and all that the EPA and all that like uh, it's just less of a of a carbon footprint so that has to be enforced. So then, uh, so the auto manufacturers pretty much have to balance uh, to deliver enough protection for longevity while giving you the best fuel economy. So balance of protection, enough protection and enough fuel efficiency. So on the 
on the thumbnail I have the three additives I've used in the past uh, year and a half and then I rank them from best to worst by worst I'm not saying that do not buy it but out of the three that um, I have to these are my rankings so my first place is the restore engine the restore engine restore and lubricant so pretty much how did it feel I pretty much just did it in bullet points so it says right there it felt really good uh, this is my first place I added the four cylinder formula which is nine ounces should say I don't think it says right here well super small letters right there Let's see if it focuses and yeah, shit doesn't focus all right let's see nine fluid ounces all right so there it goes so nine ounces to the engine and um, the thing that kind of does suck is that I did not perform any compression test with these oil additives or even before but I can say that it did feel more responsive and the, the engine sounded more tough like it had a deep tone to it kind of like if it had an air intake it does but like uh, that's not the point like it just sounded more tough like if it had a tighter seal within the piston rings and then um let me see the thing i really liked about restore is that it doesn't affect viscosity too much it does thicken it but it still keeps it within the specs of like 5w30 or if you use it with 0w20 it still keeps it within the spec so but it's very is barely noticeable like it doesn't even affect the viscosity so that's why i did that's why i do like it like right here it says it is not too thin like marvel mystery oil or too thick as Hyperlube or Lucas Oil Stabilizer. And the only negative is that lead, which Restore contains, accelerates deterioration of the catalytic converter. Like it won't it won't like damage your catalytic converter like in one year, but like over time it will like it will affect it. So it says right here, please visit Restore website and read the frequently asked questions. I have the link provided so uh, you guys don't have to type it. So my second place is the Hyperloop oil supplement. It has to be a 20% mixture with gasoline engines. So my honest thoughts, um, this is pretty much the short story. During the first week of use, I did not like it. My car had a rough idle than usual, which uh, causing the car to vibrate more. So I switched it out. It felt better without Hyperloop, but... I saved the oil since it barely had 100 miles of use. So then in October, I retried the Hyperloop. It still had the rough idle, but it wasn't as bad as before, so it had to be broken in. The thing I do like about Hyperloop is that uh, it runs better, like more smoothly at the highway speeds. Um, Hyperloop clings onto the metal surfaces for long periods of time. Like even after a cold start, after a couple hours, a few days, maybe even a week, so prevents the where I start up it overall does quiet your engine like at startup or on the highway so the hyperloop gives the the oil a better cushion which pretty much thickens it up claims to have anti-foaming agents I know all oils foam up that's why I put that in parentheses so this thing does increase viscosity significantly my personal experience uh, I did all my oil analysis with Blackstone Laboratories. I did a 20% Hyperloop oil supplement and 80% of 5W30. And the viscosity was similar to a 5W40, so that's pretty bad. I mean, it's not going to like make your engine blow up, but you're just not going to get the like the correct fuel economy. And that's, the, that's my next bullet point, uh, resulting in a drop in fuel economy from parasitic drag. Which means it's too viscous to move efficiently, like it won't blow up your engine, but you're going to use more gas. Um, this is more than just an oil additive. You could use it <clears throat> in diesels and even as assembly lube. So yeah, just check out their website for multiple uses. Third place is my Marvel Mystery Oil. 20% mixture. The link. So my thoughts about Marvel Mystery Oil. So... I tested it during the winter, which was kind of helpful because, I mean, I live in Southern California, so it's not it's not even freezing. Like the the lowest it would get would be like 40, not even 40 degrees, like 50s. So 
I mean, it, it is pretty good though, like in the mornings, like, um, so it makes a better flow of your oil. So that's the thing I did like about it. But the main reason I used it was like to clean the inside of my engine. And I know my engine's not dirty, but all the, I mean, it does have 200 something miles, 210. So, I mean, it could use the cleaning. And then, uh, so Marvel, Marvel Mystery Oil claims to raise compression as it says in the front of the bottle but I never tested uh, compression with or without Marvel Mystery Oil so I can't disagree or agree so but I did not notice a difference I did notice a difference with Restore you could tell you could you could tell that it just had more power like not a big amount of power like 10 horsepower gain but it's noticeable so it says right here, while on the highway, the engine is slightly louder since it is less viscous, but it's nothing good or bad, but just something to keep in mind. This thing, um, I got this from the website. So it says, Marvel Mystery Oil is about a five-weight oil, so it will it, it will reduce the high-end number of a multi, I guess, viscosity oil by four weight points. So it says, uh, or winter points. So the low end number will stay the same when used as per direction. I didn't really understand that part, but I guess if you use 20% Marvel Mystery Oil with 80% 5W30, you'll end up having like a 5W26 or a 1W26 mixture. I don't know which one, but it's either one. So it does drop it in uh, the operating temperature. So these are my getting done with this. Uh, Damn, it's a longer video than I expected, but so I'm almost done though. So you do not need them. You do not need oil additives. All the oil contains a balanced amount of additives. So going back to this, this is full synthetic with the high mileage. So it just has uh, other additives and all that. Like anti-wear, ZDDP. I mean, that's the oil I use, man. So like, I mean, we all use different oils, but that's the one I like. They all do the same job, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, actually, let's go. Let's go back here. It says it. Um, you you really don't need any additives at all if you have it maintained like regular oil changes and filter changes with recommended oil change interval. So it says uh, correct keeping the correct amount of engine oil in the sump because even if you if you're low on oil, like you're just gonna accelerate wear. But I'm not saying that like they're bad. They can be useful. But um I mean I'm pretty I'm pretty sure there's more reasons, but these are the ones I could think off the top of my head. So if you have low compression, uh they could probably help clean your engine from deposits and sludge buildup. I mean it can be heavy caked up sludge, you know, like it has to be like not even a little bit, but it's just light sludge, not like a heavy, like you have to rebuild the whole thing. So slow down the oil leak. So they claim to stop oil leaks. They probably do. Like you'll be lucky, but they just slow it down. Oil consumption issues. So same thing as the leaks. Um, but getting it fixed is the only way of fixing the problem. So you just can't rely on oil additives to do that. So right here says notes. These three additives can be used in all gasoline and diesel engine oils. Uh, this is from the Restore Frequently Asked Questions from Restore themselves. It says, we recommend you using it only in engine diesel engines that have common rail fuel injection systems. It is not formulated for use in HEUI fuel systems, which are used in four power stroke diesels engine. So I don't know much about diesel, but... If they say it's not good for Power Stroke, do not use it on Power Strokes. I guess you could use them on Duramax, Cummins, and all that, but no on Power Strokes. So that's I'll also include the link. This is an additional link. It's only one, but I thought it was pretty helpful. It's just about, um, damn, I forgot, but you guys could check it out. So I want, you, I want to thank you guys. I've been wanting to make this video because... I have been testing different oil, well, only these three additives within the past year and a half, so. But after these additives, I might test maybe one more, but not anytime soon. I'm going to just stick to the tried and true Valvoline Full Synthetic High Mileage. 
Dex Souls approved. That's why I like it because um, I think Kestrel uh, Full Synthetic High Mileage is also Dex Dex Souls approved, but Mobile One High Mileage is not approved by Dex Souls. Pennzoil High Mileage Full Synthetic with the what's it called the Pure Plus technology isn't approved by Dex Souls. I, I mean I'm sure they're they're really good oils, but I just trust something with Dexels more, so thank you very much. Oh, let me just show you guys the back just in case if you're interested. That's the back of the Valvoline bottle. This is the new, the new jugs. I don't want to get too caught off guard, but all right, that's it guys. Thank you very much. I hope you like and subscribe. Have a good day.